everybody. I am Sarah Cronister, uh, also known as Cyber Profe. I just got back from a couple weeks in Costa Rica and I wanted to kind of verbally jot down my thoughts to share with you and to share with my students later. This video, I wanna talk about electricity. My third year students, we do a unit about the environment and they have a hard time understanding how wasteful we are in the United States. We are a resource rich country here in the United States. And it can be hard to understand that other countries just don't have the resources that we have, like Costa Rica. And I'm also, just a little side note, I don't wanna call Costa Rica a third world country. Let's call Costa Rica a developing country. The term third world country came, uh, came about from back in the Cold War. So you have the first world, which was anti-communist, and the second world, which was pro-communist. Then you had third world, which didn't take a stand. They were neutral. Um, but these third world countries, the neutral countries tended to be poor. And that's how third world kind of morphed meaning from neutral, not for or against communists to being poor. So let's, let's not use the word third world country. Let's use developing, which of course also has its own um, pitfalls. But for now, that's what we're going to use. So for Costa Rica, Costa Rica is a, a developing country. Um, they are not where they want to be in terms of resources and in terms of GDP and um, you got upper, middle and lower. Most of Costa Rica happens to fall into that lower economic uh, stratus. Okay, so it is a developing country. When I was there, it was so interesting because electricity here in the United States, electricity is so cheap. I bet I could walk through my house right now and at least three to seven lights are going to be on. And to me, it doesn't matter. That's not gonna affect my electric bill. But in Costa Rica, that would be bad to have those lights on. Costa Rica is a resource poor country. Now they're working on it. They are developing ways to get their own resources like um, turning to wind power. Um, I saw a lot of wind turbines as I was driving around Costa Rica and solar panels, of course, they are everywhere to try to get that electricity generated. Electricity there is very expensive. As I was staying, the first week I was there, I stayed in hotels and the last week I was there, I stayed with a host family. <clears throat> to my surprise, um, one of the Two out of the four hotels I stayed at did not have air conditioning. They had big fans, but no air conditioning because it's expensive. The two hotels I stayed at that did have air conditioning, one was a super fancy hotel downtown San Jose called uh, Gran Hotel. Um, it did have what I would consider modern day air conditioning. Uh, the other one was also a super fancy, very expensive hotel up in the Punta Arenas region called Villa, Villa Caletas. They both had modern day air conditioning. The other two um, had fans. Well, one had up in the Monte Verde region, it had a window air conditioning unit. And then the one in um, Heredia, Santo Domingo, it just had a fan. And again, um, you can basically, I bet you could tell which hotels cost more and which didn't based on which ones had air conditioning. Um, in my host family, where I stayed at the second week, that was so interesting to me. That woman did not turn lights on until it was almost pitch black in her house. Now, she lived comfortably. Um, she didn't struggle, um, but very frugal when it came to electricity usage. So no lights until it was too dark to, to read, basically, and then the lights could come on. Absolutely, you turned the lights out when you left a room. So instance, I would turn the light on to go into the bathroom, you know, no windows. I didn't want to be in there in the dark. But huh, if, that, if I didn't turn that light out when I walked out of that bathroom, I heard about it. Her house didn't have electricity. It also didn't have ceiling fans. Again, both of them are heavy electricity users. What it did have was really high ceilings. And that comes from heat rises, right? So that's what you would want in a house, no, no air conditioning no fans, you want that heat to rise up into the ceiling and then filter out. All the appliances were unplugged if she wasn't using them. Drove me crazy because her microwave and her coffee pot were always blinking noon because, because she would unplug it if she wasn't using it. 
no dryer. That was so interesting to me. No dryer because I'm sure you can guess dryers are an electricity hog and Costa Rica, um, well, it's a hot country. You might as well just, most people would hang their clothes outside on the line. Now it did rain every day I was there. I was there during the rainy season, but it was almost like clockwork. It, it'd be really nice up until about 1, one thirty. Then the clouds would start rolling in and it would start raining about three, usually about three. Sometimes it waited until about five, but you could easily hang your clothes out to dry and, and know that you, 99% you're not gonna get rained on until you know five o'clock, three to five. Absolutely no electric cars. That surprised me at first because I knew how um, environmentally conscious Costa Rica is, and I thought, oh, there's going to be there's going to be electric cars everywhere. There weren't any, and now that makes sense to me because of how expensive electricity is there. There just weren't any electric cars. I saw one charging station up in Monte Verde, uh, Santa Elena, <clears throat> but it looked like it had never been used. Well. It looked like it had been installed and then forgotten about. It, it was falling apart. Obviously, nobody used it. So that was that was interesting to me. And also during the uh, when I was at this at school because I took classes while I was there as well. One of our discussion points was how can resource rich countries help out resource poor countries? It's a good point to stop on. What is your opinion? How can resource rich countries help? resource poor countries how can the united states with all of our resources so many that i can leave my lights on 24 7 and my electric bill is not going to go up how can i help how can we help resource poor countries like costa rica comment below i'd love to hear what you have to say adios